In this short tutorial, you'll get started with Otter 3.0's core features to help manage and automate your infrastructure. Otter 3.0 saw some major changes to Otter's UI and some of the terminology used in the application. As such, this guide does not apply to any previous versions. After downloading and installing Otter, you'll start on the Otter home screen and will be presented with the initial setup tutorial. A job in Otter simply means running a script at a scheduled time. Once you're logged into Otter, Click on Scripts at the top of the page. On the next page, start by clicking on the Create Scripts button, followed by the Create Demo PowerShell Script button. This will create a demo PowerShell script for you to run. To run this demo script, click the green Play button and select Run Once. A new pop-up will appear, giving you options like setting a start time for running the script. However, for this tutorial, Leave all of the values on default and click Create Job. Otter will output the results of running the script on your screen and then bring you to the Job History page. Here you can see a list of all the completed jobs and view details about each by clicking on their timestamp. To continue this tutorial, click on Scripts in Otter again. Next, let's create a job template. A job template is a customizable blueprint for a job you want to run more than once. You'll also be able to select which servers you want to target. Click on the green Play button again, this time selecting Create a Job Template. Again, don't change the settings, and click Create Job Template. The template is now saved in Otter and can be reused and modified as needed. To find the template again later, just click on Jobs, followed by Templates. To use your brand new script for the first time, make sure that you're on the Overview tab of the job page. Once again, click Create Job and select Run PowerShell Demo.ps1 from the list. The template you created contains a few variables you can change marked here. Enter your name into the field here and click the box next to Enable Cute Mode. In the output, you'll see the name you entered mentioned in the text as well as a little surprise. Next, Let's create an Otter script orchestration. Start by going to the Scripts page and clicking Create Script. Continue by clicking on Create Demo Otter Script Orchestration. You will now see a new script below the PowerShell demo we created earlier. Click the Play button next to the script, followed by Run Once. In the pop-up, change server targeting from Specific Servers by Name to Custom Server Targeting and click Create Job. Custom Server Targeting will target the servers specified in the Otter script itself. The output will give you a few more details about what Otter script is. If it disappears too quickly, you can find it again in the Job History page, same as before. Normally, you need to have servers connected to Otter for orchestration, but for this tutorial, Otter will create some fake demo servers for you. Go to Servers at the top of the page and click Create Demo Infrastructure. Now, you'll have six fake servers in your Otter. Otter allows you to define custom roles for your servers, allowing a clear overview of which server does what. Start by clicking on Roles. Normally, you would use Create Server Role to define roles, but for this tutorial, simply click Create Demo Role. You'll notice that the server with the Demo Secure Ports role currently displays its status as Drifted, this means that the server configuration does not match the desired state of configuration set by the role. In a real environment, you'd have to log into the server itself to check its configuration to see where the drift occurred. But for this demo, simply click the Remote Login button to open a mock terminal window. Follow the instructions on screen to fix the drifted server. Once done, simply close the mock terminal window and press the Check Configuration button. This shows the steps you'd have to take to manually check and remediate drift on your own servers. After a few seconds, the server's status will change from drifted to current. Now, let's set Otter to automatically fix server configurations and drift remediations. Start once again by clicking Roles and creating a demo role. Now, click on the role with the unknown status followed by Servers. Then, click on any one of the servers listed as Drifted, and click here beside Verify Report Only. By default, Otter is configured to just let users know if their servers drifted. However, it can also fix issues, either scheduled, on-demand, or immediately upon detecting drift. 
For now, choose On Demand or Scheduled Remediation. This step would usually need to be repeated for each server, but for this demo, you can simply click Change All Demo Servers to Remediate On Demand. Now that we've set up On Demand Remediation, click on Roles, then the Demo Pro Fit Calc app. Click Remediate Drift to have Otter match server configuration to the DSC. In the pop-up, you can specify exactly which servers to remediate, but for this demo, simply click the Remediate Drift button. Congratulations! You've now learned how to use all of Otter's main features, so just click on the Otter logo on the top left of the page to return to the home screen. Your next step should be familiarizing yourself with how to add new scripts, either using PowerShell, Bash, or by using our drag-and-drop Otter script builder.